Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about integration, logarithmic rule, and exponentials. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. We're given this problem right here. We need to evaluate this indefinite integral of x to the negative 1 power. Now this one is actually the basics, but it's, it's very simple in a way we have a definition for this integral. Our definition tells us that this integral is equal to the natural log of the absolute value of x plus c. And that's it, this is a pretty simple one. We're given this problem right here. We need to evaluate this indefinite integral of three times x to the negative one power. Now our definitions are gonna help us here. The first thing I want to do is rewrite this. I can pull out this constant that's a 3 and put it outside of the integral. So we have 3 times the integral of x to the negative 1 dx. And this is where we can apply our definition. The integral of x to the negative 1 power dx is equal to the natural log absolute value of absolute value of x plus c. So to do that, we then have 3 times the natural log of the absolute value of x plus c. Again, that 3 just comes down. And then our integral of the x to the negative 1 power is natural log of absolute value of x plus c. So again, our final answer, 3 times the natural log of the absolute value of x plus c. We're given this problem right here, the integral of negative 1 over x dx. And we have to find that indefinite integral. Well, we want to use our definitions, and so I'm going to try to rewrite this to look like one of our definitions. Now, we know we can pull that negative out of the integral being the constant, like a negative 1. So I'll pull out a negative 1 here, and now I have my integral of 1 over x. Well, 1 over x can be rewritten as x to the negative 1 power, and then we have a dx. And right now, we see this inside part looks just like our definition, so we can apply it. The negative stays on the outside, the negative 1 right there. Then the integral part becomes the natural log of the absolute value of x, then plus c. Not too bad. So again, our final answer here is the negative natural log of the absolute value of x plus c. We're given this problem right here, the integral of 1 over x dx, and we want to find this indefinite integral. Now, what I want to do is try to rewrite this to look like one of the definitions that we know. And so I see that 1 over x is the same thing as x to the negative 1 power. So to rewrite this, we have integral of x to the negative 1 power dx. And now it's just a plug and play with our definition. They tell us that the integral of x to the negative 1 dx is equal to the natural log of the absolute value of x plus c. And there we have it. Our final answer here is the natural log of the absolute value of x plus c. We're given this problem right here, the integral of negative e to the x power dx, and we want to find this indefinite integral. Now, we have our definitions, and we have to rewrite this to look like one of our definitions, and it looks like the second one looks pretty close. I know I can pull up the negative outside of my integral, being a constant there. So we have a negative 1, let's pull it out like that, and then we're left with the integral of e to the x power dx. And now, it's just a drag and drop from our second definition. The definition here says the integral of e to the x dx is equal to e to the x plus c. So we rewrite this, the negative comes down out here out front, then we just have the e to the x plus c, and we're done. Our final answer here is a negative e to the x plus c. We're given this problem right here, the integral of e to the x dx, and we want to evaluate this indefinite integral. Now one thing that's actually really nice about this indefinite integral is it lines up perfectly with one of our definitions. So we just plug and play it here. Our integral of e to the x dx, they tell us, is just e to the x plus c. And it's that simple. So again, our final answer here is e to the x plus c. We're given this problem right here, the integral of 2 times 3 to the x power dx. And we want to evaluate this indefinite integral. Well, first thing, I want to try to see if I can make this look like one of my definitions. And the third one looks like it matches up pretty closely. But that 2 is a problem. Now, I'm allowed to pull that 2 outside of the integral because there's multiplication going on there. So, pull out that constant, the 2, and I have the integral now of 3 to the x power 
dx. Now, this looks just like our a to the x power. So we're going to use our definition here, okay, of that to solve this. Well, the 2 stays up front, multiplied, and they said a to the x, so it's a to the x over the natural log of a, a being 3. So we have 3 to the x power over the natural log of the inside part, or the a value, which is 3. And then we have a plus c. Now we can rewrite this to be 1 big fraction again, and so we have 2 times 3 to the x power over natural log of 3 plus c, and that's it. That is our final answer. We're given this problem right here, the integral of 3 times 5 to the x power dx, and we want to evaluate this indefinite integral. Now, I want to see if I can make it look like one of my definitions, and the last definition looks pretty close. I have a 3, though, out front that doesn't line up with the definition, but I'm allowed to pull that constant, that 3, outside of the integral, uh, because we have multiplication going on here. So if I pull that 3 out, I'm left with 3 times the integral of 5 to the x power dx. Now, this now becomes a pretty simple problem. We plug and play with our definition. Our definition, our a value is going to be the 5 there. So we have the 3 times our a value 5, so 5 to the x power over, my marker last, the natural log of, well, a value being 5. Then we have the plus c. And so we can rewrite this to be one large fraction to finish it out here, but a 3 up top. So we have 3 times 5 to the x power over the natural log of 5 plus c. And there we have it, our final answer. I hope this video was helpful for you, and if it was, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math.